Hello, my name is Moses Ross Suarez. I am a visual artist. Um, this uh, video uh, is an expanded version of the Smithsonian American Art Museum uh, presentation that I was invited to participate in uh, a conversation, a series, as part of the uh, Printing the Revolution uh, exhibition uh, that is at the Museum. Um, uh, I am a member of the Dominican York Proyecto Gráfica, and uh, the portfolio, or one of the portfolios that we created, is being exhibited there. And my uh, artwork is uh, in that in the show, in this part of that portfolio. And I'm going to be uh, talking a little bit about early that uh, when I started out, and then uh, print stuff that I did with DYPG, and then um, and with uh, uh, maybe. Uh, uh, some other work that I have done. When I started out uh, doing artwork, I was painting on on the trains and walls. Uh, I was uh, my work was born out of graffiti, so um, I, you know I was a graffiti artist, and uh, so eventually uh, I uh, became a part of an organization named NOGA, the Nation of Graffiti Artists. It was a community organization directed by Jack Pelsinger that encourage writers to paint on canvas. Uh, so writers would go there and then, you know, be writing on paper and canvas and and really, uh, you know, transition to uh, a more uh, professional level of, of doing artwork. And this is where I sold my first painting. Um, you can see then that one that's there of uh, uh, that large painting um, that I did. I used to write Sal in 61. I also at the time learned photography at Goddard Riverside Community Center uh, with photographer Irene Furtick, and uh, that was a really a great experience as well. Um, here is a large piece that I, uh, that I did. Uh, it's a Sal 161 uh, that was on the Upper West Side Hamble Court wall. Um, so I was, you know, still doing graffiti. <laughs> But this was staying sanctioned through the Dome Project, so it's okay. I went on to, to study architecture uh, starting in the, uh, you know, I guess in the late 80s and became an architect uh, working on prototype schools uh, for the Board of Education. And um, this was part of the Gruz and Sempton Architects. And so I was, but at that time, uh, you know, I was doing a lot of architecture, but intermittently I would do uh, artwork as well and um, you know uh, in the late 80s I became more involved in, in being creative again and so then by 1992 uh, I was invited to join the, the Bronx printmakers by the director uh, Betty Wabiasini who was a curator at the uh, Bronx uh, Museum of the Arts she selected me to be part of the AIM program, which is Artists in the Marketplace. And um, this piece is uh, Indio, which is my first uh, print. And it is a uh, intaglio, you know, print, uh, an etching, uh, in response to uh, the 500 years of Columbus in the Americas, 1992. Uh, since then, I have painted, sculpted, and made public art projects, which continue to create uh, to continue to make prints. Uh, in 2010, I co-founded uh, with 12 uh, members a uh, printmaking collective uh, of the Dominican York Proyecto Gráfica. Our print portfolio was titled uh, Manifestaciones, and this is what's in the exhibition Printing Revolution. Uh, which addressed the experience of, of migration. I created El Reggaeton del Bachatero, um, which is the triptych etching and aquatint uh, print with chincole, chincole being glued paper, which is, it's all done in one, one step. This uh, print depicts a sort of dance between the homeland and the new land. The second portfolio uh, was titled uh, Here and There, uh, uh, which each are creating two prints for the portfolio. Uh, 
the etching uh, aquatint prints I created were Sancochito Sabroson and Musiquita Por Dentro. Both refer to cultural identity with a play on words uh, blue jeans and, and jeans, G-E-N-E. -E. So you can see one is a, a, a pot with the blue jeans and the other one is at the top of a drum. Uh, separate from the portfolios were other prints uh, like this one, which is titled In Service of Dominican Yo Proyecto Grafica, an etching aquatint print based on The Last Supper uh, by Leonardo da Vinci, uh, uh, depicting uh, a printing press uh, in lieu of the table from The Last Supper. And these are supposed to be the artists from the group. These, uh, these etchings that you've seen here, the plates were made at uh, my hand graphic center, uh, but then I printed them myself in my studio. Another portfolio was uh, Community, which was just uh, you know one color print. Um, it was a, this was a woodcut, uh, and so it was uh, this was it was titled. Communicating, organizing, motivating, mobilizing, uh, unifying necessary initiatives tenaciously. Yes. So I took the word community and then I broke it up into all the different letters, which are like little uh, word bubbles for the little heads. And then the main uh, part is like unity being the key to uh, this print. This print, um, titled Los Tigres del Conde, is a large screen print. This print is based on Picasso's Le de Maison de l'Avignon, uh, done Dominican style. It is set on the Fifth Avenue of Santo Domingo El Conde and shows street hustlers as tigers and, and lions uh, partying it up. So, you know, to give it some, you know, contemporary flavor there. Domino Centurio, um, uh, a large woodcut print is based on a 12 dot domino. Each dot is a vignette showing the, the artist placed uh, between the palm tree of the island and the skyscraper of the city. So this is that, you know, that, that connection between the homeland and the new land, uh, you know, I carry that through, through with, the, with the group. And of course, you know, dominoes is a very popular uh, game in the Dominican Republic and also here in, in New York played by Dominicans. Sing Indios is a linoleum print with Shinkole from the Uptown Print Portfolio. Uh, this was part of the Uptown Print Project, a month-long community-based project in Washington Heights that I organized with uh, sponsorship from uh, the Lower Manhattan Cultural Council and the Broadway Housing Communities. And what we did there was we were able to get a space from uh, Broadway Housing, uh, ground floor space, and we brought in presses and silk screens and, they, and gave workshops to, to the community. Uh, and they also made our portfolio. And then at the end, we exhibited um, the show uh, and, you know, sold work, our work, and also uh, people from the community uh, also sold their work. And it was a beautiful experience, and really, uh, people loved it. Provincia uh, uh, 32, uh, Nueva York, República Dominicana, is a silk screen print on holographic paper, naming New York City as the 32nd province. New York City has the second largest Dominican population after Santo Domingo. So I figured, hey, you know, let's make it a province, right? Because there's so many uh, Dominicans uh, in New York. So I figured I'd make it the 32nd province. And I'd use this holographic paper, which is really interesting, getting reflections uh, off of it. And, uh, you know, they really uh, give it movement to, the, to this print. And this was, uh, you know, the last thing I'm going to show. I've done other prints uh, with DYPG, but uh, that's the last one I'm going to show there. So the final uh, slide is going to be uh, Rebirth of Our Nation, uh, which is part of the def uh, the Dream Deferred Portfolio, an exchange that was uh, organized by uh, was co co curated by Sanford University 
School of the Arts Associate Professor Jeff Skiaska. And it's, uh, you know, with the social injustice that's going on, uh, and it's, you know, it's been going on and it continues to go on, and this is a way to, to bring that uh, to bear. Um, and what it does is the collection explores our racial injustice through the eyes of 31 printmakers. Uh, and, you know, have, you know, the, uh, the kneeling figure with the power fist and the word class and then race in the middle divided by the figure and then power on the, on the bottom there. So issues that need to be talked about and, and addressed in our time. Um, I also created a large painting based on this print for the Black is Beautiful exhibition at the Sugar Hill Museum in Harlem, New York. And this was during the pandemic and it was exhibited in the window of the museum. Uh, it's it's uh, on plywood, eight by four feet, and um, do using the same uh, design as the print, but giving it color and making it more vibrant and, and you know, uh, to communicate uh, more effectively. This is my uh, expanded version of the uh, conversation series as part of the uh, um, Printing the Revolution exhibition that is part in um, the Smithsonian uh, uh, American Art Museum in Washington, D.C. And I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, it was my pleasure to present this to you. Thank you.